Good morning guys and gals. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Fishing Brian YouTube channel. Um, swim jigs, top water. Let's go fishing. So I've been throwing top water all morning with no luck. And one thing I like to do when I have this long of a leader is I want to give fish from the bank, I, I, I would like to give the rods that carry double duty, which means I could throw top water on this, or I can also throw square bills since I got about almost a three foot leader on here, a 12 foot mono to 30 pound braid. Um, I'm matching the forage in here. This is a pumpkin seed custom crankbait from my buddy John over at Jab Custom Baits. And uh, you can find them on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get one on the old square bill. Now, this is an eight one to one reel, so I gotta be mindful of my retrieve speed. Sounded like a bluegill all the way. Whoop.
wonder how much access there is over there. Let's walk and see. Oh yeah, I like the looks of it over here. We got some shaded water, which means it's gonna be a little cooler. Don't got much bank access, but as usual, it's West Virginia. Start search baiting with the old swim jig. Hey, buddy! Got him! Hey, Mr. Man! How are you doing? You're a good looking shallow water fish, all pretty and colorful. Huh, bud? Hey, bud! What's going on, man? I cracked you in the lip, didn't I? I sure did. Let's get a little picture. That's pretty awesome. First swim jig fish of the year for me. I'm pretty happy about that because I've been wanting to do an episode on swim jigs. They're great search baits. back in the water but thank you man thank you cool happy cool cool I knew if I could get over here the water be cooler we got the shaded side we can fish parallel with the bank as long as we got some access on the back cast good deal happy and look, I'm not even really matching the forage, man. That was more of a reaction bite. Now, I'm not sure if there's white or black crappie in here, but this is the Strike King Greg Hackney Hack Attack Heavy Cover Swim Jig. It's a 3 8 ounce bait. As you can see, I've cut down my weed guard to just get it about a little bit past the hook point, but not past the barb. And this is a Strike King 3.8 in the pro blue red shad color. So that's not a bluegill colored bait, but the thing is with swim bait fishing is it's a visual cue. Now don't get me wrong, you can't catch them in muddy water. There's always exceptions to the rules in fishing, but it's got more of a drawing power in this color water being a white colored bait with some gray and yellow skirt with like a you know the gray shad and the pro blue it's just a good pairing man that's how you know uh, your trailer color and everything is right when they eat it like that so I'm happy about that I don't know if I blew up the spot if we can get any more out of this spot but let's try and see let's cast the other way here They want to come out of these weeds and smoke it like he did. I'm not the greatest backhand caster, but the more I do it, the better I'll get at it.
It's another reason why I always fish my swim baits or swim jigs on high speed reels is because a lot of times they'll grab it and swim right at you. So in order to keep it tight and keep up with them, you gotta stay on that reel handle. Now there's a couple things different I could have did there as far as bank flipping. It's a bad habit. I really should kneel down and lip them instead of bank flipping everything, but I just try to use the momentum of what's going on in my favor. And that can really help, guys. I could see that that thing wasn't swimming straight when I was watching it come back. Let it sink a little bit. be happy. I'm going to stop it right here so I know where to, where to make an edit and then we'll pick up where we left off. Well that's going to do it for me guys. Uh, finally got one on the swim jig. Um, they're great search baits whether you're trying to match a bluegill or a crappie or a pumpkin seed or shell cracker, it doesn't matter. Um, they are great search baits. They are like the four wheel drive of soft plastic swim baits. And with that jig profile also, you can really get some big, good quality bites with it, with that skirt puffing up, along with that boot tail back there kicking around. Um, some modifications that I do is I definitely cut down my weed guards. Uh, a lot of times when they come out of the package, they're way past the barb. And I like to just get it even with the hook point and then send it out with my fingers. Uh, also, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this episode is dedicated to Jasper. Uh, he hasn't even been in this world a week yet. But uh, he's so adorable and he's a good little baby, so... This episode goes out to you, little man, and uh, leave me some comments down below. We can talk about fishing wherever, whenever. I love to talk about fishing. Um, yeah, it is Sunday. It is the Sabbath. No work. It is time for rest and relaxation, and I can't think of a better way of relaxing than catching some bath. So, uh, don't forget to ring that notification bell so you know when I put out our next episode. And we will see you on the next one. This is Bastard and Brian, out for now. Peace.